So it is 19 minutes to nine now. Good morning to you. It's Manx Radio from the Isle of Man. And thanks very much for your company on this Wednesday morning. Breakfast with Ben and Alex, joined by Sean as well now for this point of the programme where we sort of dive in and have a little dig deeper into the news to find one or two stories that you might not have heard about. And uh, we'll start uh, with you, Alex. This is an interesting one this morning that you've got. Yeah, this is uh, something local to us, actually, but it relates to something uh, sort of UK wide, of course. And this has been announced that uh, EVF are going to introduce V vegan sausage rolls. Now, vegan sausage rolls, my goodness, what a controversial issue this seems to be. It's it's so divisive in the most hilarious way. Um, Myself as a, you know, I I am vegetarian and uh, I, I don't see the harm in it at all. I think it's always good to have variety. And if you can a lot of people say on this, don't they, that if you, if you don't like meat, then why would you want something that tastes like meat? But the thing is, a lot of people aren't vegetarian because they don't like it. They're vegetarian because they don't want to kill any animals. So if you can like the taste and not have to kill an animal, then why not, I say. I it's think all it's about a choice, isn't it? That's yeah. the thing. It's, it's, it's whatever you want. And uh, I had a vegetarian sausage roll last week and I quite enjoyed it. I My goodness. I see how ashamed you sound when you say that. <laughs> it's surprised. okay. What it's were all you right. expecting? Well, I, this, this is the <laughs> thing, you see, because you know I am a, a big meat eater. So, uh, yeah, there was surprise in my voice there. And, and actually, yeah, it was it was really nice. But for me, I've just got to say, the other half's homemade sausage rolls with a bit of tomato chutney on the side. You, you can't beat that as far as I'm concerned. But for yourself, and other people like you this is good news of course it is and i think uh, you know I've, yes okay you can't beat certain things you've always known there's a lot of unknown people aren't really willing to try sometimes with these sort of things give them a go you might actually like it it might not be revolting just because it's vegan. <laughs> it's so funny i love some of the, the comments you get online <laughs> they're just people horrified saying don't call it a sausage roll then it's not sausage OK, but you know what they're saying. They're trying to tell you what it's mimicking, aren't you? God, come it's on. always going to go right down the middle of this one. And yeah, <laughs> certainly a lively old debate on our yeah. Facebook and page. And this was huge across the UK, of course, when Greg's uh, introduced the same a uh, little while ago. People, very, I think they've done extremely well with it, you know. Their, their profits are up something like 58% or something ridiculous well, like go. that. So there's obviously a demand. It's You know, you're keeping all these same meat products, but you're introducing a, a vegan option. So therefore, it can only mean more business for them and uh, more options for everyone else. So EVF are launching this in the island. The Kurt Michael branch will be the uh, first to try it. So, Sean, what have you got for us this morning? Uh, well, I've got the launch of a new streaming service. And, of course, we're familiar with TV streaming, with music streaming. This one for gamers. Um, okay. Google have launched the Google Stadia streaming service, which they say will be better than console quality. Um, so you you would pay to use the games, but you don't have to download them. You don't have to have the disc or the cartridge or whatever it is your particular console would demand oh, otherwise. Could this be a game changer? It could be a game changer. Good Lord. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that. Sorry. So, so yeah, they have, they have described it as Netflix for playing games. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, you say that, I'm, I kind of think, why haven't they done that before? I suppose internet is the big thing. You have to be connected to the internet. You right. need a, a good speed you need a mm. uh, good strong connection so gosh yes if you didn't get the connection i can imagine some people really into a game could get quite yeah, and then suddenly angry. you get the, the little ticking yes. timer I mean, that's, that's so annoying <laughs> if you're watching something on streaming if you're at a crucial point in a competitive game but at least goodness. your going in score doesn't kill. depend on it does it <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly this is it anyway. all right so look out for that then and uh, finally from me he will be back order <laughs> we thought we'd seen the last of him, but no, he is returning to our screens. That's John Burko, of course, that former Speaker of the uh, House of Commons. Was it about uh, three weeks ago he stood down? It was the end of October, wasn't it? Was it? Halloween. Yes, yeah. yes, it was, yeah. <laughs> well, he's back because Sky News have announced he will be their expert pundit on their election night coverage the uh, 12th right. of December. Bit of a coup, actually, because mm. if anybody kind of knows the inside score of what's going on, it'll be Burko, won't yeah, it? So, you would think so. Yeah, he's going to be joining. how candid he will be. It could be quite interesting yeah. to <laughs> see just what he comes out with, because he will know all that sort of, you know, behind the scenes skeet. He's joining Dermot Murnahan uh, on the night uh, to describe events as they unfold. Uh, Sky's coverage will get underway at 10 o'clock. The BBC and ITV the same when the exit polls are announced. That's always an exciting mm. point, isn't it, on any election night? So, uh, Hugh Edwards is anchoring the BBC's coverage. He and Laura Koonsberg will be there in full flow. I do love Hugh.
he's great. We love him, don't we? And Not that I know him, but you know, <laughs> we just I like him. him. What you know him. about him, you like. Yeah. yeah. I told you before, he's a very accomplished church organist. Yes, you have. Yes. Yeah, I just love that fact. I like a little fact like that that yeah. you know you just wouldn't guess that about somebody. And ITV, I think Alistair Stewart, who's been doing election coverage for many, many years now. So take your choice. Do you watch one specific thing in terms of election coverage, or do you flick between the channels? Uh, bit, of a, bit of a flick, I think. I don't know yeah. if I'm a flick. I'll sort of choose one, but it's not... I don't necessarily have a preference. I think in the past it's been the BBC, but, um, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I'll, I don't... I'll stick with one as long as it holds my attention. And then if, yeah, they, if they veer off somewhere, yeah. it's like, oh, what's on? What's yes, on exactly. Else? See what else is... Yeah. All right, well, you will be making your choice three weeks tomorrow. That's mm. when it's all happening, the 12th of December, the UK general election.